Hey. Oh, are we showing our, are, we, are we just doing half the face? Is that what we're doing? No. Oh, okay. No. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How's the baby? Oh, the baby is doing just fine. Uh, she is uh, two months old as of yesterday. Yeah, my mom showed me the post on Easter. She thought it was really funny. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she uh, shit terrified. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely terrified of uh, the Easter basket, of all things. <laughs> it's funny. So how so, you doing? Uh, are you saying safe? Yeah. Good, good, good. How about you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I got my work set up here. I work from home. That's and right. I'm getting real tired of not being able to leave the house. Yeah, yeah I can't stand it. <laughs> Um, it's a bummer today with the layoffs of 20 wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many people that, that like, I, I can't even believe are still even on the roster, honestly, or even on, like, in contract. Like, um, I mean, like, like who is it? Like, Lance Storm. Yeah. Like, I can't believe that Lance Storm is still underneath WWE contract. And Finley. Fit, fit, oh, I mean, yeah. Fit, I could understand, like, if he's, behind, you know, behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely something I could I could. Shane hurt. Helms, the hurricane. Well, I mean, yeah, but he's just yeah. amazing. How would yeah. you ever? Why would you ever want to get Shane Helms off of off of your roster? I don't know. He's great. The hurricane was great. Uh, he was uh, one of my favorites as a kid. Yeah, he. I always liked that gimmick. That dude was really good. I used to like him, like even in just WCW. Um, <laughs> I, I always thought that Shane Helms always had like a really good gimmick. I thought that yeah. Shane Helms had a really good look. Yeah, he was uh, good as the cruiserweight champ, Gregory Helms, right there. Yeah, yeah, Gregory, like yeah. as Gregory Helms, he was he was fascinating. Like he was yeah. awesome. Yeah, he was the longest cruiser cruiserweight champ back then. Yeah, I like I, I don't have I have everything but respect and love for Shane Helms. Yeah, now he's gone. Which I think they'll get well, him back. They'll probably. Well, I mean, like realistically, though, I mean, what were they doing with him? Yeah, he's just backstage. <laughs> I don't think he was backstage uh, helping NXT. I, no. I think he was probably just on. Uh, he he might have actually still been on contract from the from his what was it? He was in like the Royal Rumble mm -hmm. two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. So they might have just had like a three year contract with him, uh, yeah. just to, as a as a minimum. It might yeah. Melanie's so upset because Melanie was that was her favorite too. Yeah. I mean, I, I always felt really bad for him because, like, I, I love the gimmick, but I know that it was it, he was he was just, it was death. The gimmick was death. Like, there was nothing he could have done about it. Mm -hmm. Like, he wasn't ever going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I, as soon as I heard, I, well, I remember as a kid watching, and I, and I saw the hurricane come out, and I saw his Titan Tron video. I was like, no, he's never he's never winning the championship ever again. <laughs> This is now purely comedy gimmick, but I mm -hmm. love it anyway. Yeah, who who were you shocked about, uh, and then some of those other guys? Um, I, I, I was shocked with Rusha. Yes, yeah, so I think that was actually I, I was in, I was this is sound, sound stupid, but I was in the bathroom, but I was checking my phone, <laughs> and I saw that Rusev got released. I was like, really? I think that was the most shocking one so far. That I'm like, uh, no, there's no way. Same uh, with like Kurt Angle. Yeah, like. I can understand again, like he hasn't really done very much recently. In yeah, he retired. But I feel like having him on contract or on retainer at least for yeah. for just anything uh, would be, would have been a great idea. I mean, he was a huge staple of both the Attitude Era, uh, mm -hmm. of the Aggression Era, and uh, for whatever reason, I mean, I, I, I don't get it. Uh, I don't either. Uh, and Leo Rush, I feel bad for him. He just started. Yeah, but so people like 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 real Leo Rush and Drake uh, mm -hmm. and Logan, like they're all gonna go in, and hit the indies again, and they're gonna mm -hmm. kill it. Now, I do see people are saying what like, Sarah Logan AEW maybe. Yeah, hundred percent. Like a lot of those people are gonna get picked up by yeah. by AEW. Well, uh, the two I know right away that come to my mind are Rusev and Eric Rowan. Yeah, the, I mean, uh, I don't know. Definitely, definitely Rusev. Yeah, but um, Eric Rowan could go with Brody Lee. Yeah, I also feel like, I, I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. I feel like Rusev is going to be a main eventer at AEW. I, I give yeah. it maybe six months. Yeah, I mean, Hager's main eventing tonight, so I mean, Very Jack true. Swagger. Yeah, 
Uh, which, I don't think he's going to win, though. I, no, I there's no way. Well, there's no way they're going to let him win. Against no Moxley. There's no, no way. No. Not they never the, pushed him in WWE. I mean, not, so. and not on the independent scene. You, yeah. You're going against 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 Moxley on in, like essentially. I mean, AEW. I know they're they're not considered the independents, but mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things, with such a new company, mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, there's no way they're going to let him win. They're going to try and keep that that brand mentality that yeah. this is still Dean Ambrose. Mm -hmm. I like that's, his that's real. My... I like John Moxley better than Dean Ambrose. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, everyone does. Like, yeah. Keep in mind, though, that we we pay attention to the independent scene. Yeah. And know <laughs> what Moxley <laughs> used to do. Yeah. Whereas your your main and I, I would say a very healthy portion of mm -hmm. the WWE viewer fan base. Yeah. Would have no idea. Like when I was a mm -hmm. kid. Wrestling to me was Raw and Nitro, mm -hmm. and I had no idea about New Japan Pro and WWE. Yeah. I had no clue about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't even know that stuff existed. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, again, I was you know anywhere from eight years old to I think fourteen is when I was like really, really heavily into like the WWF. Yeah, so I started watching it when I was six. Well, I mean, you're only eight now, so. Well, you got two, two years, okay. No. I'm pretty sure you're like under 10. No, I'm 16. No. I'm turning 17 April 23rd, next Thursday. Can anyone else confirm this? Because I don't believe it. Yeah, my mom can. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's not something that an eight year old says. My mom can do it. Oh my god! So, what? Let me guess, what? Your dad can beat up my dad too. Is that is that true? Is that an insult you want to throw at me? No. Oh, okay, okay. I I, I thought so. I, I just no, my dad sure. really likes you. So. Oh well, I mean, I don't blame him. I really like me too. Yeah. So what? I was upset that you got you didn't get a fair shot in that tournament. I was upset too. I don't think I ever really get a fair shot at anything. No. Um, you know, though, I, I, uh, I mean, not not to not to pull back the curtain, but you know, I, I, I still enjoyed my time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoyed being able to go out there and do something new, and, mm -hmm. and I still got to enjoy being in the ring with with Mac. And yeah, that, that's the that to me was just more of an accomplishment than anything else. I mean, yeah, you'll probably you'll come back because now you're not suspended. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I. I I, I, if you think about it, I could have come back to FOW last event because they, they didn't stipulate that I was gone for two events, just two months. And the second yeah. month had rolled over. So, oh, you yeah. know, what are we going to do? Yeah, what what did you think of um, the championship match last show? Uh, I didn't see it because I wasn't there. Oh, maybe. Um, I filmed it so you could watch <laughs> it. I, I filmed it. Oh, you filmed it? Yeah. Oh, I, I, you have to keep in mind, like, I don't pay attention to people that aren't me. Okay. No offense. No, that's okay. But you're not me, and I don't pay attention. Okay. I do well, pay well, attention to, to, to Melody and Michelle, though, because she yeah. is saying that you're going to be an adult next year. Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah. Um, so, um, next, um, next thing, what's next at FOW, the title, right? For me, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean that's always the the goal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, to better yourself and make sure that you're out there and you're mm -hmm. getting recognition and you are you're climbing your way to the top. And honestly, that's a that's definitely the next step for me. Uh, I I think Bravo is still the champion. Yeah. I mean, realistically, I mean, between you, me, and the rest of the world right now, mm -hmm. who do you think would win, me or Bravo? Me? Yeah, me too. I think I'd win too. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that I would win. And, uh, you know, Bravo's a good guy. I like Bravo as a person. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I'm not going to be the internet tough guy and say I'm going to beat him up, but mm -hmm. I I'll beat him up. Yeah. 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 What, what was, how fun was it when SWF was still around? How fun was it when SWF mm -hmm. was still around? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to answer that. So... I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. There are aspects, there were aspects of SWF that I really enjoyed. 
I really enjoyed people like Billy. I really enjoyed uh, being around people that that understood me and and wanted to 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 make mm -hmm. me better. And then there were let's see, there were other aspects like um, that would make me furious that I just I couldn't mm -hmm. deal with at all. Yeah, you you and, was, in your, was it Ryan T? No, you know Ryan T. Uh, he he was he he liked to push my buttons a lot. And yeah, I was there I, for that storyline. That's funny. Yeah, and I, I really wish that storyline had continued. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. I just I don't think that he. I think he stopped wrestling. I think he just wanted to be a ref then full time. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot more to that that I I, I really planned out and I really wanted mm -hmm. to, to to incorporate. Um, yeah. I mean, even with. Uh, the guy that attacked me, uh, Stefan Pennington, um, mm -hmm. at that, I think, at, that, yeah, that was during like the last show for, for that storyline in particular. Yeah. Uh, Stefan Pennington had come out and attacked me and I, and I, I love working with Stefan. Uh, he was one of my first big feuds when I first started out, uh, down at CZW at Dojo Wars. And mm. I would love, absolutely love to wrestle with him again. Yeah. It's Melanie says, who are the top three, Johnny, who do, at FOW, I guess, matches? Who do I want to wrestle at, the, at FOW? Yeah. I would definitely want to wrestle with Bravo. Because believe mm -hmm. it or not, I, I've only worked Bravo one time. And as long as I've actually known him, uh, I, I, I've only really ever worked with him in the ring once. So I, I want to do that again. I, I want that to be a title match for us. Um, and I, I definitely want to make it something special. Uh, the other person I want to work with is uh, I want to work with Biggie, mm -hmm. uh, just because he's he's pretty much a legend in this area and yes. uh, and uh, really across the nation. For me, that again, uh, going back to what I was saying about Mac, mm -hmm. uh, that would just be more of a stepping stone for me. That would be yeah. an accomplishment, something that I can look back on and say, "Hey, I did this and I did it well." Mm -hmm. Uh, the other one, I guess the last person that I'd like to work with uh, at FOW, or just really anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, uh, blah, 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 probably, hmm, probably AJ. Trey Kershaw. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Two heels. <laughs> Who's that? A hilarious story about him. Uh, we did a show called Sideshow Pro down in South mm -hmm. Jersey. Okay. And a very good friend of mine's mother was in the crowd. And mm -hmm. she didn't, she had not really met me very, she kind of knew who I was, but she didn't meet me yet. Mm -hmm. So AJ comes through the curtain, a match before me. And, mm -hmm. and his mom turns to my wife and says, oh my God, is that your husband? Ooh la la. And I, yeah, she's like, oh my God, he's so attractive. You're so lucky. And my wife said, no, that's not my husband. Uh, the next match I was up and my wife turns to, the, to my friend's mom and says, that's my husband. And, and I mean, I'm not going to, she just was like, ah, he's nice. So I definitely want to match with AJ just for that simple reason, because I, I just want to just break his teeth. That's so mean. I don't like when people think that they're, that they're better looking than me. It's, it's not, it, it's not, it's not funny. Yeah. That was not very nice. Oh man. California Casanova. <laughs> Actually, I am going to steal that and I'm going to use that as moniker from now on. That I have never thought about that before and I love it. Yeah, so Johnny, yeah, you're California Casanova. Well, so far I'm up to I've got I'm the champion of champions. I'm the undisputed king of this ring and any other ring. Mm -hmm. I am the one man Disneyland. Uh, the high action attraction, living personification of the main event, and the one man here every man wants to be, and the one man here every woman wants to be with. So I think I'm going to steal California Casanova, and I'm going to add that into the rotation. Yeah, that's good. I got I, my teacher. I was in school and I used one of your lines and they got upset. Oh, you used one of my what? Your lines. What did you use my line for? I was just using it as a joke, like all the women, <laughs> all the women joke. want to, all the women want me and stuff. Wow. Did you say that at school? Because I yeah. really hope that you didn't. And I hope to God I didn't influence that in any way, shape, or form. No, I said if I. <laughs> you said what? I said that. Where did you say that, though? In school. Oh, my God. So you stood up in front of the class, and you performed the Johnny Yeager moniker. I don't know if I should be proud or just disappointed. No, I sat. I was sitting in photo class on, in a chair. 
Still, you said it at school. To my uh, teacher. You said it to your teacher. You said to your teacher, I'm the one man here every man wants to be, and the one man here every woman wants to be with. I'm very both proud and disappointed. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you that you, you said something so cool. Yeah. I'm disappointed, though, that you stole it from me and you didn't ask first. Oh, I should have. On the other hand, though, I can't take... I cannot take full responsibility for that line. I, I actually, I did, I stole it from somebody else as well. Mm -hmm. I stole that from James Bond. Yeah, I, I just, that came out of nowhere. I don't even know why I said it. But you're just sitting in photography class and you just is like, I'm the one man here every man wants to be. I'm the one man here every woman wants to, that, you just did that in the middle of Yeah, class. I said one of the lines. <laughs> You're right. Well, no. Okay. First of all, I'm reading the comments here. And, and Michelle, I absolutely would ask for permission. Uh, it's 2020. Yeah. <laughs> so who is like your, if you had to pick, like who are the, who's your least favorite wrestler? My least favorite wrestler? Mm -hmm. Like as a person or as just their work ethic? <laughs> Either one. If either you know. either one. All right. Um, are we doing a shoot right now? Is that what's happening? I don't really? know. Am I going to get in trouble for this? No. Okay. All I've right. done it before with a bunch of guys. Did anyone say me? No. Oh, I was hoping that would just be an easy cop out because I would just say them. Um, all right. So my least favorite wrestler, like of all time or, or, or in a present situation like in the in the current times um of all time or like current like any right. promotion so so i'll do of all time and i'll do a current so my least favorite wrestler of all time uh would be oh uh, uh, this is gonna get me into trouble but it would be stone cold steve austin oh, he was my least favorite wrestler of all time do you uh, like the rock yeah, so, well, I was always a Chris Jericho fan. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one. So, and this is, I mean, this is a true story about me and, and how I actually got into wrestling uh, as a kid. Uh, when I was a little kid, I was maybe, I was maybe four or five. And my friend's dad had an extra ticket to like a WWF house show. And he took me, and I'd, I'd never seen wrestling before. Wrestling wasn't really allowed in my house. Okay. So... I went there and it was the, 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 I heard the Ultimate Warriors theme song. And he came running out. And this is the first wrestler that I was really introduced to. Mm -hmm. And he ran out into, in, into, the, uh, like, into the ring and like everybody just got so excited. Yeah. And he got, he was getting bullied and he was getting picked on by the heel who I, I can't remember who it was. At the t I, I, I wanna say it was Iron Sheik. I, I can't remember though. And like, mm -hmm. he was just throwing out insults at him and the Ultimate Warrior, he, warriored up and he, and he fought back and like mm -hmm. everybody went nuts so i was like oh my god like i want to be like ultimate warrior so i started watching like wwf uh, like the early 90s like mid 90s mm -hmm. and i kind of realized something about myself i would look at myself in the mirror and then i would look at like you know ultimate warrior and hulk hogan and i'd be like that something doesn't look right i don't look i don't look like them mm -mm. uh and i i don't think i ever will <laughs> They're not, you don't have the steroids because they were all on steroids, man. Well, yeah, but I mean, keep in mind though, like, as mm. an again, eight to 10 year old, when I, mm. when I start, really started thinking about it, mm. like, I didn't know that, 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 that steroids were really a thing. And, you know, obviously they, they would always go out and tell everybody, like, no, this is all real. Like, this is, this is real. Mm. This is what we really look like. Mm. So around like 96, 97. Uh, uh, right when kind of like WCW was kind of like got starting to starting mm -hmm. to grow a little bit, I would start watching it, and I I mm -hmm. found Chris Jericho, and I realized something about him that he is he was attainable. Yeah. He wasn't six foot nine, and he wasn't four hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. He was you know six foot and two hundred. I think I think at the time he was like two hundred and ten. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? that's attainable but he didn't he also didn't do he didn't do like the gorilla press slams and he mm -hmm. didn't do the big moves no. he used more of his brain and he used his mouth uh and he would really be able to talk to his opponents and yeah. and, and i realized at an early age like wow i can do that 
that's something that I can do. So I was in hours in the mirror, just talking to myself uh -huh. and just doing promos a, 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 in a Chris Jericho, or if you will, a Johnny Yeager, uh, I guess, personality. Uh -huh. And then when he like kind of transitioned into the WWF, uh, and when, when kind of when it became the Attitude Era and Stone Cold mm -hmm. Steve Austin won King of the Ring and he really started getting popular, that's when I was like, I, I, I don't like Stone Cold. I, I, I didn't relate to him at any level, you know, as mm -hmm. this Hellraiser redneck guy that just drinks beers and goes out and beats people up. Mm -hmm. I related more to the heels and I, mm -hmm. I always enjoyed the heels a lot more. Yeah. Like I, I never really liked the rock when he was a good, when he was a face. Mm -hmm. I liked the rock when he was in nation of domination and he was mm -hmm. giving Farouk uh, uh, pictures of himself for, for, for presence. Like I, I loved that aspect of him. And yeah. I love that personality type. So again, to answer the question, Stone Cold Steve Austin was my, my least favorite wrestler of all time. Um, Currently, my least favorite wrestler. Uh, I, I probably would say, I'd probably say like Finn Balor is my mm. least favorite. Yeah, um, I, I, I used to like him yeah. for, for multiple reasons. Um, I liked him because, again, he was attainable. He, his body type was attainable, and it was like, okay, I can look like that. I can do those moves. That's mm -hmm. what I can do. And then... He, he, he joined the WWE from the Bullet Club uh -huh. uh, and, and from like in, in New Japan. Yeah. And I, I just for whatever reason, since then, I hate watching his matches. I, I could get that because they buried him so much. I, it wasn't even before. I mean, even when he was like the universal champion, I, I, I just, I just feel like everything he did was just so watered down and, and, and just, he didn't put his heart and dream into it. And I just never really liked it anymore. Yeah, maybe if you he's in an NXT and he's trying to get better. You know I mean? Well, I mean. The, he was down there first and he was getting better. And then he got called up and then he went. Now he's back down there and he, I think he's doing really good. Oh, good. I mean, good for him. But I, I just, I don't know. I, I just, for whatever reason, it's not. It's not his move sets that, that I don't like. It's not his, his his wrestling ability that I don't like. It's just I feel like a lot of it went to his head, and I, I don't like that. I don't. It, it's different when you are portraying a gimmick. Again, mm -hmm. touching base again, like Chris Jericho, mm -hmm. and you're portraying this gimmick where it's yeah. Oh my God, you know I'm the greatest of all time, and everybody mm -hmm. loves me, and blah 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, whereas you come off. In a, in, a, in a shoot sense as just an arrogant asshole. And I, that I don't like. Yeah, I, mine were probably where it was like, a, I always had a bunch of people that like in WWE. Yeah. Like one of them was Jinder Mahal, gone. What? All right, I, I'm gonna stop you there because I loved Jinder Mahal. I loved him. That was the greatest thing that has happened to the he was the greatest thing that's happened to the WA championship of all time and, and I'll tell you why I will tell you why when you first watched the match with his first title match when he came back against Randy Orton who did you think was gonna win I didn't want Jinder Mahal what did you think that Jinder Mahal was going to beat him no I didn't no think you didn't you you didn't think he was gonna win, and he did, and he and he, he continued to win, oh, and I, I remember watching, oh, it it, it was the oh, what was it? I don't remember what event it was, uh, but it was it was Father's Day, oh. and Money in the Bob Bank, Orton, yeah, Money in the Bank, and Bob Orton was there, twenty seventeen, and I turned to my wife and I said to her, oh. I really really hope that Jinder Mahal wins in front of Bob Orton on Father's Day. And he did. And it was so fantastic. Now, I'll agree that the Punjabi prison match and it was just, that was just horrible. Great Kali count, God. Yeah, when the Great Kali came out, it was like, okay, that doesn't really make sense. But sure, I mean, I understand that he kind of created, he created this match and mm. it's his thing. All right, I understand it. But they had no real interaction beforehand. 
No, that was I his was only. Very, that was his one appearance, and then he disappeared forever. Like I was very sad that that when he lost, because I was like, "All right, the fun is over." As a heel, so I, I guess just as a heel, it makes me happy when the bad guy wins. I don't like when when wrestling stories have a have a happy ending, when when you know what's gonna happen. I don't like that. I hate it. Okay. Mainly because again, I'm always on the receiving end of <laughs> of, of, of not having that happy ending. Yeah. Being a heel in wrestling is so amazing up until the end. Yeah. Because you get all the best lines. You don't have to take a thousand bumps. Uh, you just have to take one really big bump at the end. So what did you think of Drew McIntyre winning title? Um, so I, I really appreciate that he won it. And I think that he deserves it. He has. Um, Drew McIntyre deserves so much more in this wrestling, in the, in the wrestling world that I really think that he's been given the opportunity to have so far. I, I agree. And I, I think that he should have won it a long time ago. He should have. He already should have been multi-time champ by now. Oh, 100%. Um, He's so jacked and in, in great shape. I don't know so, why. Well, so one of my biggest pet peeves about wrestling, especially on that scene, is, yeah. is that they don't... I'm trying to think of a good way to say this. All right, actually, no. I do know what a great way to say this. You'll never have another rock. Yeah. Unless you let people get to that point. Mm -hmm. you, you'll never have another Stone Cold. If you no. keep everybody in this little protected bubble and you yeah. don't give people like, like, again, like Drew McIntyre a shot. Yeah. So would it be, would I be surprised if he drops it, you know, next month? No, I wouldn't be surprised. No. And it goes to, you know, AJ Styles again. No, I, I wouldn't be surprised. No. But that, that's... It's kind of my biggest pet peeve right now in wrestling is that mm -hmm. th there's not enough opportunity for people on the mid card in the I WWE um, to to rise up because the people that have been there for 10, 15 years mm -hmm. are not leaving. Yeah. And they have no wish to want to leave. Yeah, like when I saw the Money in the Bank matches, I was happy about two, but MVP coming back, I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, but MVP is a, a phenomenal wrestler. I yeah, but I'm like, mm. but he's a phenomenal heel as well. I know he is a great heel. So you can, yeah, I mean, I, and I, I understand how some people might be like, oh, it's just, it's MVP, but no, I didn't understand why when he came back, everyone hated. I was actually excited. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't understand. Oh, no, I can understand why people would be like, oh, well, it's MVP. Who cares? <laughs> No, I can understand why they would do that, but I, mm -hmm. I, I hate that people do that. Because, again, MVP was a person that absolutely deserves so much well, more in that business. Yeah. He should have been a champion. I, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan that I think R-Truth should have been a champion. I know. He was entertaining. It, it was, I mean, he was entertaining. Yeah. He was shredded beyond max. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that he's, I think he's only really held the U.S. title. Yeah, uh, and uh, I think you owned the. <clears throat> I think you had the tag team titles at one point with Road Dog. Yeah. Um, but Road there's Dog, no reason huh? he should have been Intercontinental Champion, yeah. and I, I hate the fact that that they just sat on him for so long. Yeah, back back in like when he first started, he should have been a got like that title back then. Well, when he first started as Our Truth. Yeah. No, I no I <laughs> know. No, I, I, he terrible. actually was there longer, which I didn't know. He had like a different name. Yeah, like, what, 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 like, are you talking about before our truth? Yeah, I, didn't I, know. I don't know who he was before our truth. Him, I thought he, he said he won a tag title with Road Dog. Yeah, yeah, he won the, he won the tag title with Road Dog as our truth. Oh, um, I remember that. Yeah, it was like it was our truth and uh, and Road Dog. I can't remember what their tag team name was, but yeah, they, I think they won the tag team titles like one time for a week. Hmm. And then they lost it, I want to say, to, like, the Hardys. Mm. Yeah. He should have got pushed. He was doing good as U.S. champ, but... Yeah, and I, I just feel bad, though. Like I said, he's one of those people that I absolutely feel should have had more opportunity. And, like I said, like, with Drew McIntyre, I'm glad that they're not waiting 20 years 
mm -hmm. give Drew McIntyre a little bit of a push. Mm -hmm. And I, I, but I, again, I agree with you in the fact that, yes, he absolutely should have been at least the two times. I, I know. I, I hate the fact that he was a la like a lackey, which he is not. Hey, oh, yeah, he's huge. Like, I'm, I'm like, like, why, are you you with, order yeah. why are you with Ziggler and Strowman? Well, if I could hang out with anybody, it would be Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> I know, but uh, Strowman, he's such a, he's so bad now. Well, again, though, it, I understand, though, in the, like, I understand that aspect. Because, again, if, if I could hang out with anybody in the WWE, I would hang out with Dolph Ziggler and I would hang out with Braun Strowman. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah, I, I just, I used to love Braun Strowman when he feuded with Roman Reigns a lot. That was his best matches. I, I feel like they, they, they've missed the train, though, with Braun Strowman. And they I have. It's going to work. I don't think no matter what they do with him anymore, it's not going to work out. Yeah, he's so watered down. It's just boring. Yeah. If he goes back to being that that, that Goliath, like that, that, that new big show, yeah. then, yeah, maybe that, that he could have something with him. But as of now, I just I don't see anything going on with him. Yeah, and, like, do you like Roman Reigns or no? Do I like Roman Reigns? Um, I like the person. Do you want me to answer that? In a in a gimmick, or do you only answer that as a truthful, honest answer? Both. So, as a gimmick, uh, no, I don't like Roman Reigns' gimmick. Uh, however, I think that everyone that hates Roman Reigns is jealous of him. Uh, and I know that anyone would give their left arm and their left leg to be in a position that he's in. And if you watch his matches, he is a phenomenal wrestler, and he absolutely deserves where he did, where he is. I I was a Roman Reigns fan until he beat the Undertaker, and then I got upset. Well, but why not? He deserves it. He again that that goes back to what I was saying earlier about no one being able to move up because the people at the top don't want to leave. So if the Undertaker beat him, what would that have done for Roman Reigns? He wouldn't knock out her. Look at him. Well, but I'm saying though, is that? But do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, how can you expect him to reach the next level if you've put a ceiling, if you put the glass ceiling over him and will not allow him to get there? I don't know. So, so no, I, I agree that he beat that he should that he beat the Undertaker. I agree <laughs> that he is a fantastic wrestler, uh, and I, I absolutely believe that everyone that is. A, either a worker or or a fan that are obviously a bit older, they're they're all a little bit jealous of the fact that he's he's doing it. You know, he's out there. He's he's living his life and he's giving everything that he has. And I, I have nothing but respect and love for that man. What about Rollins? Do you like Rollins? Uh, yeah, I, I do actually like Seth Rollins. Um, yeah. I, I like I like a lot about Seth Rollins. I like his gimmick. I like Messiah. Yeah, I mean, I I don't have any issues with Seth Rollins. Like, so th there's not many, mm -hmm. there's not very many wrestlers today that I'm like, I hate him. I don't mm -hmm. know, I because again, I think it's different because I remember being on the other side of the guardrail, and only seeing the persona, only seeing, mm -hmm. you know, only seeing again, like only seeing Steve Austin. I'm sure Stone Cold Steve Austin is an awesome person in real life, mm -hmm. but as a ten year old. I see a man that I'm like, I hate this person. Yeah. I want Triple H to win. Yeah, I always, when I first started watching him, I always loved John Cena. He's still my favorite. I love John Cena. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have, you know, the hustle, loyalty, respect church t-shirts or anything. Yeah. But I have never had an issue with John Cena. And yeah. I love him. I love everything about John Cena. I got to meet him. And, and and well, here's a main reason why. Again, because he can actually do a promo. Mm -hmm. How many people in, in even in the WWF that can do a promo like John Cena? Can? No one can. No one can. He's no one's fantastic. been able to do it since The Rock. Yeah, his feud with The Rock was fantastic. Uh, it was when it was like one night only, uh, yeah. and then the, <laughs> the two times in a lifetime uh, when it set up the WrestleMania. I was the, I was actually the next the night. Yeah, well, I was, I was like, actually uh, at their second match. Oh, were you, oh, wow! Yeah, I was at the uh, main event. That was a that was a long time ago. Yeah, twenty thirteen. I was there. I was still wrestling. I watched wrestling back then. What were you still like in, in diapers? No. Oh, 
Well, let me ask you. So you asked me a bunch of questions. Let me ask you, who is your least favorite wrestler? You can do of all time. You can do in current state, in the okay, current state. Okay, I'll do of all time. I, I'm like, I'm not like, it's hard, man. All time. I don't think I really hated anyone. You mean to tell me that, well, I mean, think about, like, when you first started watching that Mm-hmm. So, you said, how old were you? You were eight years old? Mm-hmm. All right, so you're eight years old. You probably... Not, well, six, but I don't you're remember. Six, okay. So, we, all right, well, whenever you can really first start remembering wrestling, like, mm. who is it that you absolutely hated? Like, their music came on, and you were like, Mom! Mom! <laughs> um... It might have been, um, I mean, I did not like, not of all time, I, I liked him a little bit, but I could not stand re-watching his match. I can't stand Swagger. What? I don't know. I just said that one. Maybe wow. Not. I liked okay. him when he was just We the People. I didn't really care for anything else. Okay, I mean that's say hey, that's fair. I I I, I love I, I love Jack Swagger, um, but no, I, I can understand. I I, I understand why. Uh, well, I mean, I yeah, I I really my least favorite is really gender. I just don't. So then, let me ask you this: Then, who is your least favorite now on the independent scene? In in like okay, um, Jimmy controversy. Jimmy Controversy. Yeah. That is a very good answer. I, and, and Dalton. I agree. Dalton. And, oh, you don't like Dalton? He um, screwed me out of my birthday party, so, yeah. Uh, well. Had my reasons. That's okay. I mean, Jimmy Controversy, I can understand. Uh, <laughs> so there's a funny story about Jimmy Controversy with me. Yeah. Um, so I showed up <clears throat> one day in SWF for a tryout. Mm -hmm. And I got you know, offered like, hey, you know, there's a position tonight and, you know, do you want to come out and say, you know, do your piece and, and wrestle a little bit? I was like, yeah, yeah, 100%. I did that and I came back. And this was the time that Jimmy Controversy was coming out in like his, his black, you know, he had like red pants on and black oh, boots and the long oversized brown jacket. Oh, geez. And I was like, that right, singlet, right? Right, right that red know. singlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever. You know, like, the kid kind of, like, was, like, a little weird backstage. But, like, all right, whatever. We are all a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. um, as the shows progressed, though, I noticed that his gear and his entrance attire and his persona started becoming Johnny Yeager. And mm -hmm. he got to the point where he started signing – he started signing <laughs> <all that sunglasses. laughs> And I, I remember just walking up to him and just be like, what, what What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he's like, oh, man, you know, I, just, uh, I thought, you know, the imitation is the biggest form of flattery. And I was like, <laughs> no, man, no. <laughs> no, you're not, you can't do that. You can't just take someone's gimmick like that. That's not how it works. Such an idiot. I, I wasn't, I know you're wrong. I was not, I wasn't as nice when I said that to him. Because I was very upset about the whole situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I just, I, I remember, I just remember seeing it progress and me just thinking, why, why is he doing that? Stop, stop it. So yeah. what is he doing? Just... Um, all right. So I, I can agree with that. So then who is your favorite wrestler, uh, both all time and current independently? Of all time. Um, and answer very carefully on both. John Cena of all time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And independent. Mm -hmm. No, no, please answer. Go ahead. Pete Corvus. Pete Corvus, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you want to give a second answer? Like someone that might be tied for number one? Jerry Evans. Okay, uh, I'll try this again. Do you want to say another answer 
uh, that might be tied for number one. John Yeager! There we go. See, I don't know why people just can't lie like that. Yeah. I mean, you already said that I'm your dad's favorite wrestler. So, like, I mean, it even comes, I even come out and ask people who's their favorite wrestler and why is it me? Yeah. So, I don't know why you couldn't just say that first. Yeah. I mean, it's just a, it's just a little bit of a lie. You know what? It's funny. My, we were waiting in la a line to go to SWF, and my dad all of a sudden said, Oh, I don't like Gagger because he got a haircut. Oh, well, funny story. Uh, I had to get a haircut. Uh, because earlier that day, I uh, here's, I remember that was at the um, the Berkeley Center uh, when I had my haircut. Uh, I yeah. had to get my haircut because earlier that day I had put gum in my hair. Yeah, I was like, Dad, it's just a haircut. You just don't like Johnny Yeager. Uh, because I remember I had to buzz off the sides because I, I legitimately I had gum stuck in my hair. Oh God! For <laughs> reasons that I mean are very really stupid. Uh, but I had to actually shave my head. Um, I didn't have to shave it, but I had to buzz it down enough to mm -hmm. get, just get the gum out. Yeah, but then I was like, and then he's like, no, I don't like, he always liked, he also liked violence. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's cool. I, everyone likes violence. Yeah. And that, then now we, now we like some sizzling stand styles. Okay. I can understand that because is it because of the shake weight is that, yeah. is that what I, and the whipped cream. Yeah, he thinks it's cool. Uh, well, I mean, you know, as long as I'm still number one, that's 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 what matters most. Yeah, he would he will he, when he first saw you, he was your first favorite. Right? Yeah. Oh well, that's that's uh, that's very nice of him. Yeah. Um, like I said, I I, I try I, I like I'm really trying right now because I started out down here uh, in South mm -hmm. Jersey, uh, near near where I live. Like so yeah. I started out at CZW. Mm -hmm. And I moved over to H2O, mm -hmm. and like I said, I, I started doing a little bit more local promotions in this area, um, like mm -hmm. CW. Um, and then I, I, I'm really trying now because, like I said, I, I've kind of got that kind of central North Jersey area mm -hmm. on lockdown, where enough people know who I am mm -hmm. that I don't have to like kind of beg and plead with people anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that my next stop is going to be like New York. Yeah. Um, that's something I really want to do is I really want to break into New York. I want to, I want to start breaking into outlaw. Um, yeah. I've been going, I, well, before the quarantine happened, mm -hmm. I was really trying to get into excite up in Bingham. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I think that's going to be my next stop. I think that's, I think I really want to do that because like I said, I, I, I love the fact that your dad saw me and it was probably when I started insulting people, I would imagine it's probably when your dad was like, yeah, yeah I like him. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. he, he seems like a good kid. Uh, yeah. He likes I, it because he liked your heel character so much. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, he I, I really appreciate that because I, I really worked on this character. Um, I wanted to be something that I'm not mm -hmm. in in real life. Uh, I wanted to be this complete egotistical, arrogant, just jerk mm -hmm. uh, that that could just get away with anything and and, mm -hmm. and just murder people with his words. And in real life, I mean, I, I'm an engineer. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't need to do that. Yeah. Um, but like, I, I love doing things like that. I love yeah. going out there and I love moments like that, that you just said, yeah. uh, where your father was like watching me and was like, yeah, I really enjoy that deal work. That's, mm -hmm. that's good. Because that's also something I, I feel doesn't happen anymore in the independent scene. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody is that Ric Flair, Chris Jericho character. Yeah. Um, and I, really I, was the like I was the first to buy your shirt. So. I know. Well, I, yeah, the new shirt. Yes, you were the first person to ever yeah. buy my new shirt. Yes, uh, I did have other designs pre prior to that, and I had been wrestling for about uh -huh. a year, a year before that. So I don't well, mean to, to pull the rug out from underneath you, but no, you were the first person to buy my new design. Okay, shirt. well your new shirt. Um, but no, I, and, and then I really appreciated that because uh, that was actually yeah. a non-pay show. Yeah. Uh, and I needed to get home. Yeah. All right. Because I, 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 I live. I, I live right outside Philadelphia. Um, okay. So for me to travel, I mean, it's, you know, it's a two hour drive. Yeah. Uh, it was that Soul Sational. Yeah. Like, and Soul Sational, like, that was an hour and a half, two hour with tolls. Mm -hmm. uh, for me to get back down here to, to Philadelphia uh, is, is, is <laughs> for a no pay show is, yeah. is very hard. So I really appreciate the fact that you purchased that shirt. Yeah. Well, I like the design on it. 
Yeah. I, well, I mean, I actually, uh, that, that design came from somebody else. And I, I really appreciate that. My, 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 one of my good friends was like, hey, man, why don't you just sell shirts with your sunglasses on it? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And instead of the moves like uh, Jaeger, instead of the moves like Jagger, say the moves like Jaeger. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah this is great. Uh, but can I, can I revise my answer, though, for at least favorite wrestler in, currently? Yeah. Uh, Philly yeah. Mike Swanson. He is my absolute least favorite current wrestler. Why? I just, I don't like his face. I don't like his face at all. I hate his face. I hate everything about the man. I hate that he pretends to be from the mean streets of Philadelphia when in his promo videos, I know for a fact he's probably shooting in somewhere out in the suburbs, like in like <laughs> Cherry Hill. Like, I, I don't like Okay. So here's a question. K Quick, that's who he was. Thank you. J Babbitt. Um, okay. I inter Oh no, he's low. Um, I I interviewed Swanson. Yeah? Yeah. He's just a bang up guy, isn't he? Uh, someone's AJ wants to know. Ask what something about Grim. Ask him what he feels about Grim. Yeah. Um, I've never really met the guy. I, I I've met him backstage at SWF. Yeah. Um, I don't really have. I don't have any feelings towards him. Um, I, I'm not. I, I mean, I can't really say anything both positive or negative. Uh, like I said, I I don't really. I don't really know Dave. I, I know him he just likes it in passing. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean I've never I've never really had any bad interactions with him and I've never really had any you know, super positive interactions either. I th I thought it, you would be a good fit in GTS if you ever came one day. Um I, I try so I I don't think that I would ever really want to do it only because I'm I'm comfortable where I'm at. Um okay. I'm also a big, big just I guess fan of doing things the in a way that I was taught in like that old school mm -hmm. like obviously times change with social media and YouTube and everything mm -hmm. else and I'm not by any means don't don't take me this the wrong way I am not in any way shape or form uh, crapping on that promotion or or the people that work there I, I know the people that work there uh, I, I love and adore them very much yeah. um, and if asked I would I would consider it. But I'm much more of a fan of saying, all right, I want to take the road trip out to Illinois and I want to get known that way rather okay. than having one of my matches up on YouTube mm -hmm. and instantly being famous with a, you know, a hundred, you know, with, with 10, you know, 10,000 people. Like yeah. I'd rather have that sense of feeling. And again, this is in no way, shape or form towards anyone else. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have that sense of feeling like in the long run of saying I did it. I did it in the way that you know, that everyone else before me has done it, and I, I didn't take any shortcuts. I didn't take anything that I that I hated, okay. um, because I, I I've always been that person that's like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this the hard way. Yeah, I had one more question and see if the fans had any questions. Um, fans. Yeah. Um. So. When you had that match at FOW, was that a heel or a face character? I couldn't. So it kind of looked like a face. So at FOW, uh, all right. So I was told backstage, like, "Hey, uh, we really like your heel work, but we need to make sure that Mac is the heel." And I was like, "Okay." I mean, that doesn't make sense for me, but all right, you know, whatever, I'll, I can do it. Because I, believe it or not, I, I actually used to be a face. And I, 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 I could was, see that. I was, it was, I was okay at it. Um, I never, I never really enjoyed being a face. Mm -hmm. I, I always wanted to be the heel. And mm -hmm. the thing, the, the problem was, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back in this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem was, is that I trained for about a year uh, with CCW. Mm -hmm. uh, and and I trained to be a heel. I, mm -hmm. I trained to be uh, very MJF like, if you will. Yes. yes. And that's what I was kind of banking on. So I came out during my my, my very first match. My my first match against Dan O'Hare, who mm -hmm. I I love and adore. 
mm -hmm. um, as a person and wrestler. Mm -hmm. And we put together this match and there was a bunch of people and I did my, my spinning sunglasses, uh, my head scissors, where I put my sunglasses on and I go around in the head scissors. Okay. And it prompted a this was awesome chant because no one had ever really seen that before. They'd seen the, 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 the head scissors, but no one had ever seen anyone add that special flair, that, mm -hmm. that little flair to it. So I got a this was awesome chant and I did my absolute best to be a heel in that match. Like I was cheating, I was doing, you name it. Like I, I was raking the eyes, I was cursing at the crowd. And no matter what I did, no one really cared. They, they just wanted to see me put the sunglasses on again. So the match ends, I lost because it was my first match. Mm -hmm. uh, I lose to Dan O'Hare and we go in the backstage, uh, we go backstage and my trainer, Preacher, mm -hmm. uh, comes up to me and he says, listen, I know you've been practicing to be a heel for the past year, uh, but I don't have a choice. Uh, you're going to be a face from now on. And I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on, I have to rework everything. Like for that first six months of, of my wrestling career, like I couldn't take the microphone. I couldn't talk because if I did, I would be a heel. And that's yeah. what I always wanted to do. So it made me a little sad when at FOW, they're like, listen, you know, we need you to be kind of a tweener. Um, make sure you get people on your side, get sympathy, do, you know, do the things that a face does. And I, I mean, I'm fine with it, but uh, yeah, but would I prefer to just go out there take a microphone and sit down in a chair for 10 minutes and berate the crowd? 100% I would rather do that. Yeah. So let's see. Does anyone have any questions for Johnny I just want to let him know. It's okay. You can speak up people. It's all right. No worries. I will most likely not answer truthfully to anything you ask. Four people, come on. Well, in all fairness, one of them is probably Philly Mike Swanson still, and I don't know if he knows how to use a keyboard. Um, I don't know what happened. That was yeah, like, yeah. Did you did you delete it? No, I don't know what happened actually. All right, I've got a question there. It says, "Who do you hate in GTS?" As a person or as a gimmick? I don't know. I'll wait for AJ Rio Yo Yo. AJ. He's a big so, GTS fan, so I thought he, I knew he would ask that probably. So yeah, again, so I, I'll, I'll, I'll ask. I'll answer your question with, an, with another with another question. Uh, do you do you mean as a person or do you mean just as a gimmick? It's okay, buddy. You can do it. One word. You can type it. <laughs> it's you can even just say P or G. And mm -hmm. I don't know what you mean. You can say P for person or G for gimmick. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, hey man, time's running out. I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know what? I will do this. I will answer both for you. How's that sound? All right. Again, you don't have to. You don't have to respond to that because I don't know if you know how to. So, <laughs> so as a person, who do I hate? No one. I don't hate anyone there as a person. Well, Jimmy. Not a single person. Has... Huh? Jimmy's on there. Yeah, but I mean, I don't. I don't hate him as a person. Okay. I, I, I don't. So, again, there's a difference between real life Johnny Yeager and and, and wrestling Johnny Yeager. Real life Johnny Yeager, I don't hate anybody. Okay. Uh, I, it's very very difficult for me to to be like you know what i hate that person i don't want to be around that person i just like that person that's very difficult i guess you'd be probably on the lower end of my spectrum but he wouldn't be at the very top he wouldn't be okay. anywhere close to hate as a oh, no, it's saying that we have like a minute remaining and that's going to kick us off all right so then as as a as a as a gimmick uh whatever that clown character is that he plays i yeah. hate that i hate yes. that so much yeah exactly. i i cannot stand it I see pictures of it sometimes and I, and it comes across my feed and I'm like, I hate that. I hate everything about it. Okay. But if we only do have a minute left, uh, there is one thing I def definitely want to bring out mention for anyone else watching or anyone that does watch this. Um, I do start doing um, like kind of live streams uh, for games and any donations that are, that are, that are there, um, any purchase of any merchandise from me, hundred percent of it goes towards people right now in need. Um, both wrestlers, ring crew, cameramen, camerawomen, 
uh, everyone that you can possibly imagine that's in this wrestling industry that's being affected right now by COVID-19. So if possible, if you see it streaming, if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook and you see mm -hmm. I put something up there saying, hey, join the stream, please feel free to stop in. Uh, and again, any donations that you get that you do provide, 100% of it goes towards a family that's it's in need right now. Okay. Thank you so much, Johnny Eger, for taking the time. You know what? It, the pleasure was all yours. And I greatly appreciate it as well. You let me be on here. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Have a good one, man. Stay safe and, and make you sure too. you stay at home. Okay. I know your mom for me. Bye.